How far have you cycled today? I um, put in about 105 kilometres today. So went up over the Forth Road Bridge, uh, along through Fife, back over the Kincardine Bridge and back through Linlithgow and Livingston. And how are you feeling now then? I'm feeling every last kilometre of it in my legs, I can tell you that. As we get close to Bulawayo, are you feeling fitter? Yeah, it's really helped me to reach my goal of being able to run 5k for 30 minutes, which is something I never thought I'd be able to do before, so it's been really great. What made you want to go on the trip to Zimbabwe, to Bulawayo? Oh, it's just such an amazing part of the world. I've really enjoyed looking at all the photos and reading all the interesting facts that have been put up and uh, yeah, I'd love to actually go there in person. Are you feeling fitter as we actually reach Bulawayo now? Yeah, I'm feeling a lot fitter. I'm getting out of the house a lot more, doing some bits and bobs now. And I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying myself. What made you decide to go on the Edinburgh to Bulawayo trip? Well, um, I don't know if you know, but Steve Blair and I actually run an annual event called the Valentine Ball every year and the proceeds from that go to our neighbours in Zimbabwe and as a church community, our church community is called Kinship and um, we like to think of the people in Bulawayo as our neighbours, which is what the charity name says. What's been the best thing about the trip? I'm super fit now. Hello, what made you want to come on the Edinburgh to Bulawayo trip? Oh, it was a real, it was exciting to know that I was supporting a charity that my son Jack went out to two years ago, so I've been able to cycle knowing that it's for a real purpose for the people in Zimbabwe. Hi there, can you tell me the most fun moment for you of this trip? Yeah, the whole trip's been really fun. Um, I think the best bit was running with my mates. Have you enjoyed the trip? What's made you want to come on the trip to Zimbabwe, Edinburgh to Bulawayo? Well, I think two things really. So first of all, um, it's for a fantastic cause, uh, people who really do need our help. And uh, in addition to that, the bonus for me is whilst we've been confined in lockdown, I actually feel like we've been on an amazing journey. And I kind of feel like we've been there and we've stayed there the way they've phrased things about telling us where we camped and so on on our way on our journey. It's been amazing. It's been really enjoyable as well as for the Hey, what's been the best bit about the trip so far? Um, it's made me go outside more, exercise more and I've had a lot of fun doing it. How have you been travelling all the way to Bulawayo? Uh, just a mixture of walked with the dogs, running around the garden and cycling with the family. Has this made you want to visit Bulawayo for real? I've actually already been but um, I'd love to go again and just like catch up with the people there find out what they're up to and uh, you know, help out wherever I can. Are you glad that you signed up on the Bulawayo trip? Yeah, it's been great.